Good morning. Hi, Jane. You're here early. Oh, I pop up for you? Well, that's awesome. Everybody else has been trying to make that happen. Ew, you're at work. Ew, work. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Um, so today I am going to be using um, obviously some blues and some yellows and our new little playing cubs, um, Digi. And obviously you see my blue and yellow paper and we are going to um, join the Cards for Ukraine um, scenario here and make these little cubs into blue and yellow cubs um, in support of Ukraine. <sighs> Yay, you get to see me live from Australia, hooray. Good morning, grab your coffee. So I've simply just printed these on a sweet sentiment cardstock and um, I have right here a card base so this is just um, a regular A2 base, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I've cut an eighth of an inch off of this blue paper. So it's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I cut a half an inch off of this. So this is five and this is three and three quarters. And then I did the same thing with this so that it all layers up well and you can see, you're welcome Lydia, um, and you can see everything. So we're gonna try to um, do these little bears some justice and color these because our hearts are going out to all the Ukrainians um, right now um, that are, you know, living in some scary times. So I actually have a seven color blend. So this is the first five colors. I have B99, B39, B18, FB2, B21, B32, and B000. So this is where we are going to start. So. I'm going to take both caps off of my markers. Hopefully you can see those. Yep, that looks like it's in a good spot. And I am going to um, respond to the people that are texting me right now. Um, you guys feel free to tag friends and and get this group larger and all of that stuff. Are we still live? Are we frozen? Are we good? My screen appears to be frozen, so I just want to make sure that we're good before I continue. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start with my darkest color. This is that B99. And I'm going to go just slightly away from the artist drawn line. And I'm doing this for aesthetics. Um, this is not the way I normally color, but I also don't normally color blue and yellow bears. So there's that. Hi, bestie. 
It's all good in here. Thanks, Candace, for letting me know. Thanks, Jean. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back here to his back paw. Same thing. I'm still following roughly my light source scenario. So this would all be in shadow, his back paw. And you'll see why I'm going away from the line in just a moment, but. It's more because these are, you know, stylized instead of coloring them, you know, true. I'm gonna add a little shadow to the back of his eye here. And under his chin. My computer's doing some seriously wonky things right now, so if my feed cuts out, let me know, and I will just start a new one. Oh, I see you, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. It's letting you join in thus far. Sometimes it does not let Sharon comment at all. Did you see her cards for this Digi release? OMG, she knocked it out of the park. The things that she colored were amazing. I think that little bunny rabbit card is my favorite though. It's absolutely awesome. Okay, so now I'm gonna come down with this one in between his little claws. This is also a super dark color. And then I'm gonna start just little brush strokes out towards the highlight. All of this news about Ukraine is just so heart-wrenching. And we have lots of people in our crafty community that are really feeling this right now. So if you yourself would like to make a yellow and gold card, we're not actually sending the cards over because, you know, obviously the postal systems are like a logistical nightmare at this moment, but we're posting all of our cards on social media. Um, so that people know that we are supporting them, we're thinking about them, we're sending good vibes or prayers or whatever it is that you do. There's the hashtag that is Cards for Ukraine. So, um, in the Share Handmade Kindness group, if you're not a member of that group, it's Jennifer McGuire's group. And our very own Lydia Fiedler is a um, admin for that group. And they have created the hashtag Cards for Ukraine. Um, you can use that hashtag to post your cards. I just knew that I needed to color these little bears today, and so I figured what a better time than right now to make them cute little blue and yellow bears. Fun fact, my high school colors 
were blue and gold. And we were the bear cats. Our mascot was the bear cat. Does anybody know what a bear cat is? Anybody? <laughs> Nobody's talking. <laughs> Makes me super self-conscious. <laughs> Where are you, Lydia? <laughs> Say something. Just gonna sit here and color in silence because I get all self-conscious when nobody's talking. I'm sure it's because y'all are at work. You have no idea what a bear cat is. Thanks. Thanks. It's um, it does not strike fear in the hearts of people. You know how school mascots are supposed to be, like, you know, intimidating or whatever? Yeah, so Bearcat is kind of like a weasel. So there's that for you. <laughs> the weasel is not intimidating, unless maybe you're a chicken. In which case, there you go. You were the kangaroos? <laughs> kangaroos are kind of badasses, though. They're kind of mean, and they're super duper strong. I, I, don't, I don't see it as being, like, wicked intimidating. But, you know. We have, we have an Aussie here. Aren't kangaroos, like, super mean? Big sister, hello. I miss you. You're up early today. You must be going to the city for something. So we're coloring up our new digital image, these sweet little bear cubs. And I think part of why I really saw these little guys and thought, you know what, I want to color them yellow and blue for Ukraine is because I think of all of the little kids over there right now. And, you know, they don't know what's going on. They just know that they're scared and there's crazy stuff happening in their world. And it just breaks my heart. For all the little ones. Oh, normal. They do have very strong legs and tails. Yeah, see, that's what I've heard too, is that you don't want to mess with a kangaroo because, like, they'll mess you up, man.
Yeah, I'm way more afraid of kangaroos than bears as well. Partially because my husband's name is Barry, so I say I'm married to bear. And Lee, just so you know, Barry did take over my bear shirt that you got me from Teton National Park. <coughs> yeah, it worked in your school favor. <coughs> Nobody messes with kangaroos, yo. So I'm working down through my color spectrum. I need an Alaska shirt. I'm working down through my color spectrum and this blue obviously, you know, is way lighter than the others, but I'm using it to kind of wash out the center because I'm gonna make it lighter. And that's where my B32 will come in. So, don't worry that it doesn't blend right now. Hi, Nona. And here we come in with our lighter blue, this B32, and see how that blends so much better? Pretty cool, huh? All right, Natalie, have fun getting your hair done. Okay. So now I'm gonna go down this line And you'll see what I'm gonna do with it afterwards. It does get, it has a purpose. Just cause I like the style of it. It's kind of a neat little style, something different to do. And I thought it would be fun, especially where I'm not coloring these bears, you know, true to life colors. And I am putting kind of a lot of ink in this. Thank you, Julie. Hi, Jen. Oh, Jen, I need to ask you a PLA question. Um, filament question, whatever it is. Um, sometime, don't let me forget. It's just about a color, nothing major. But since you're here, it reminded me. Look at this sweet little bear. Okay. So now I'm gonna take my last color of blue, which is my B triple zero. This is a slightly green color your sorting cards for show. That should take you a long time because you have a lot of cards. Um, this color has a little bit of green pigment to it. I'm not sure why, but it does. And But it does work great for a highlight. So I'm just gonna come in and brush these a little bit And we're going to decorate the bears at the end. Oops, I forgot his little claws.
These are some wicked bear claws. I'm telling you. It's like really true to the how they are though out there in the wild. Ask Lee. She's seen some pretty crazy bear claws. Um, it's just the teal color. I want to know what it is because I love that color. Whatever color it is that you used to make the mine. I want to know what color it is. And then the teal color that you have that you just sent me. I want to know what color that is. So nothing overly difficult. <laughs> Hi, Tyler. And then I got out of the line here a little bit. So just like Sandy was saying the other night, be very careful. Don't add a whole lot of ink and you'll be okay. But if you keep adding a whole bunch of ink, it's gonna bleed more. It's gonna saturate the paper. Okay, so yes, I used a seven color blend for the blue. Now I'm gonna use a seven color blend for the yellow. Tyler, aren't you proud of me? <laughs> So this is my seven color blend. So E87 will be my shadow. Um, oops, let me hit the camera. Um, Y26, Y18, Y13, Y11, and then Y00 and quadruple zero. Okay, so that is my yellow blend. And I'm gonna start, so I shadowed him on this side and I'm gonna shadow this bear on this side. Um, just cause that's what I feel like doing. <laughs> so most people would not think of using Y, or I'm sorry, E87 for a shadow. Um, I love this color and I love that it's matte. Okay, so a lot of people would not think of using E87 as a shadow for yellow. I, however, like to seriously shadow stuff. So without shadow, there is no light. So again, um, this is a brownish color, but it's kind of got like a yellowish green base to it. It's almost like an olive color. And it makes a great shadow. And you'll see once I get into coloring this bear, you'll be like, oh, that's crazy. I did not think that that looked yellow. But then once you actually put the shadow in here, it does, or the highlights in here, it does look yellow. Good morning, Laura. <gasps> You're late. Um, set an alarm. Set um, like a calendar date that every weekday at 9 a.m. Well, it's 10 central time. 10 and 10. 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. central time. So in mountain time, that's 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. We may not have lives a whole lot this week because Sandy and I are getting ready for the show in Pleasanton. <laughs> right? She just tossed you right on under that bus, didn't she? Um, and so we 
have a lot of preparation to do. And I pick her up from the airport tomorrow. So excited. And then we have to pack the car because we leave Wednesday morning. Early Wednesday morning. We gotta leave at like 7 a.m. We're driving. Pleasanton's about a 10 hour drive. Okay, so there's my shadow for that guy. Y26 is one of my favorite yellow Copic markers. Actually, I think it is my favorite yellow Copic marker. It is awesome. I use it so much when creating gold and um, just darker yellow colors, a shadow. It's really a great color. You guys are all being quiet out there again. Are y'all checking your calendars to see if you can make it to the Pleasanton show? There's a contest open on the page right now and I'm probably gonna close it today. So join in and the contest is really simple. All you have to do is set a calendar alert or a um, alarm in your phone that is 10 a.m. Central Time and 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. Central Time um, for our lives for Sandy and I's lives. So um, then you just take a screenshot and let us know that you set those alarms or calendar alerts, the reoccurring ones. And we will enter you in and you can win a ticket to any of the expos. It's not a specific one. It's any expo this year. And that way you can go to the expo. And see us. Yay. Very easy contest. And like I said, I'll probably close it down today and maybe we'll announce the winner on Sandy's live tonight. Sandy loves announcing winners. She loves giving prizes. You're driving the bus. All right, Julie, have a good day at work. I think what I really need is another cup of coffee. Today is going to be a long day of preparing stuff for the show. 
I don't think people realize the amount of work that goes into these shows. It's fun, don't get me wrong, but it is so incredibly much work. Um, my mom was over here all day yesterday helping me out. Um, we got a paper order in, so there's more paper. I got an order of Sweet Pops in. So Sweet Pops will be back in the store. Um, what else? Getting all the make and take stuff ready. Both Sandy and I and my mother worked all day on make and take stuff. We have a new die in the works that I sent off today. A new 3D die that's not a flower. It's a 3D die like the open box die. So that's gonna be super fun. You guys are gonna love it too. Oh my gosh, Sandy is the master. There is nobody who makes 3D dies like Sandy, nobody. It is so stinking cool. Um, I want it right now. I'm not even gonna lie. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. Plus it would make my life a lot easier if I had it right now. Well, Nona, I couldn't hardly ask for your help, honey. You had surgery on your hand. So you needed to heal. I mean, you could be here for moral support, I suppose. But I wasn't going to force you to help me, you know, put together stuff when you had stitches in your fingers. Look at this nice bright yellow. Isn't it a fun color? love it <laughs> but next time <laughs> I, I do know somebody who would be willing to test it out for me Tyler yeah I'm very well aware I'll, I'll definitely send it to Jen and let her know that that you thought of her <laughs> wait is that not what you're talking about <laughs> I'll send it to Melissa then. <laughs> you know how JPG loves her 3D dies. Come on now. Just working on the transitions of these darker yellows to this lighter yellow. Saturating the paper without oversaturating the paper. There's a fine line. exactly what you were thinking. I knew. I knew that. You're such a nice guy. I'm sure she'd be willing to test it out for us before anybody else. <laughs> oh, Tyler. Look at how cute he's coming out. How cute are these little bears? I know, right? I would have to transfer you. Hi, Brenda. Good morning. Oh, at least Archie went running outside before he started barking because there's dogs walking by out front. 
even though you probably still heard him. The people walking by have a really pretty German short hair. Really pretty dog. Happy Monday, Brenda. What'd you guys do this weekend? Anybody have any cool weekend stories? I worked on make and takes. <laughs> Sandy and I worked on make and takes. And packaging paper and sweet pops. There's new sequin blends. All kinds of fun stuff. Okay, now I have my wide double zero. Just pop in those highlights and make sure that they're nice and blended. And then I'm gonna color his little toenails. And then you're gonna want to pull out your white gel pen. And you're organizing your craft room again. You do that a lot, Nona. Ooh, Jane, I love planner pages. Did you see all of our new planner stickers? We have lots of new planner stickers. All right, so this sweet little guy is colored. So now I was just gonna show you real quick. The cool thing about digis is you can flip them back and forth. Isn't that fun? Totally flip them back and forth. Yeah, check them out. They're very cool. Okay, so there's a fun little thing that I'm gonna do um, just because I want this to be like over the top blue and yellow. First of all, I'm gonna color his eye. Um, before I get like too far into things. So I'm gonna take yellow and put it on this side and I'm gonna take blue and put it on this side. And I'm just going to start with my lightest color. And I'm just gonna make like an ink blot test. <laughs> and I'm gonna color this in. And now you hear Archie barking. Try not to pick up any of this blue and carry it over. Okay, then I'm gonna grab some of my darker yellows. I'm gonna start with Y18. And I'm just going to trace out some of the edges of this.
Oops, am I not even on the screen? Sorry about that. And here's Archie. Tyler, your little buddy's back. Okay, and I'm gonna start. <laughs> Lobo heard Archie. Ooh, we do have a new ATC starting tomorrow. Super excited about that. Super excited. I know what it is too. I know what it is. I know what it is. It would be kind of weird if I didn't know what it is. Not gonna lie. Okay, Y11, yes, Sandy will be doing a live tonight, I'm fairly certain. Sandy, do you know what you're coloring yet tonight? Or have not decided? T-B-A. How cool is this? Not yet. I believe that lives are better when they're so spur of the moment and they're like oh you know what I want to color this and then that's what you color Again, I'm not gonna marry those together quite yet. So I'm gonna do the same thing now opposite on this guy. Amy, this is the sweet sentiment coloring paper. So yes, there is glitter within the paper fibers. So I'm gonna start with my B triple zero.
Okay. Oh, I guess I need to color it in. Haha. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Appreciate it. Now where these colors overlap is going to turn green, obviously, because yellow and blue make green. Um, and so if you're layering this blue on top of the yellow, you're gonna see green. But I'm gonna try to not overlap them a ton so that I don't have like a whole bunch of green as like a focal point on this card. Cause that's not really what I'm going for here. have a crack in this pen or something sandy because it's already dry and you just filled it and I haven't really used it thanks Sharon hi Cheryl good morning okay so I'm gonna go to my FB2 because I feel like the fluorescents never get enough love off to Hobby Lobby ooh Getting something good. And these are just arbitrary, like, shadows. There's not really a rhyme or a reason. It's kind of supposed to look like a paint splotch or something. Um, they have lots of sales, Hobby Lobby does. I was not aware. Now I'm going to go to B32. I tend to stay out of a lot of the big box stores as much as possible. Um, not necessarily because I have anything against them, but because I like to shop small. And so unless I'm buying something in like mass quantities, I try to stay away. Or home decor. Because, you know, Hobby Lobby is fantastic for home decor. Thanks, Brenda. The card that we're making today is super simple to put together. So I really wanted this image to shine. And so most of the time when I'm doing backgrounds, you know, I draw like a whole scene. And this one I wanted to just be different. I just wanted it to really stand out as something very different than what I normally do. And so I came up with this idea of just 
kind of doing the paint splotch thing. I just thought it would be neat. So here I am doing the paint blotch thing. Okay, and then back to my B triple zero. Like I said, I just can't imagine all the people and kids, especially. And that's what these little bears reminded me of is all the little kids not knowing what the heck is going on in their world. And just wanting to play and be normal. And so I was like, these sweet little bear cubs just need to need to be on a card for Ukraine. And maybe eventually this card will make its way over there. Or will make its way to somebody who has family over there. That they're worried about. It's just a little bit of encouragement and love for them. To let them know that the crafty community is thinking of them. All right. And so now I'm gonna marry these colors together a little bit um, where I colored over with the blue. I'm gonna color back over with the yellow. And like I said, this might make a little bit of green. I'm okay with a little bit of green. I just don't want it to be like, whoa, green. Okay, now we're gonna do some work with our gel pen. So grab your white gel pen. And thanks, Brenda. Just doing what's in the heart, you know? And I'm gonna start by adding white highlights to these little drips. And then I'm gonna come in and add little eyes on the bears, little highlights on their noses. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I have um, a glitter gel pen and I have my white gel pen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these little bears super sparkly by adding like little stars to them. Okay. Awesome, Candace. I'm happy about that. I'm gonna add a little star like right between them. Just 
just for funsies. And then I'm gonna grab my glittery gel pen and I'm just gonna add some little spots around the stars. Add some little shooting stars in here. Just for fun. There we go. So, you know, not a ton, but enough that it's, you know, adds a little bit of interest and stuff to them. Then, I'm gonna grab my handy dandy corner punch because y'all know how much I love my corner punch. It's one of the like most used tools in my craft room. my cards opening the proper direction and grab my little make it by Marco glue stand and of course I need to reopen my glue there come on barely art glue you can do it I know I love using corner punch too I haven't used my glue for several days, guys, and I usually never, ever have a problem with it, but there we go. You go live, and then you have a problem with it. That's just how life works. What the heck? There must be a clog in there somewhere. There we go. All better now. Okay. And a white card base on white paper never leads to a well lined up card, so I always pick it up. And then I use my espresso. refill and clean the tip of my glue. Stand up! <laughs> right? Just stand up! It's like one of the best stories ever. If you've never heard the stand up story... Yeah, I probably need to clean the tip of my glue because I, number one, have never cleaned it. And number two, I've refilled it several times. So, you know, I mean, that's a thing. That shouldn't shock you at all whatsoever. Okay, so I'm gonna go like that. 
And then you guys know I always stamp the back of my cards. What's going to happen on this one though? There we go. And there's our cute little card for Ukraine. So, um, this will be posted later, and this video, of course, will be posted to our YouTube. And thank you guys for joining me today. And whatever you do, if you send prayers or good vibes or, you know, whatever it is that you like to do, um, I'm sure that they could use them. Um and would be very grateful for them. Um, it's weird. The world is a weird place. It's all I can say. So I'm going to go grab a cup of coffee. And then I am going to get back to work. Because I have a pile of paper that I need to score. Um, right now we're not sending the cards anywhere, Jane. Um, I'm sure eventually there will be a card drive, but <coughs> as I'm sure you can tell, there is going to be, um, you know, quite a mess with, you know, the mail system and all of that kind of stuff. So, um, it's just not smart to, to add to that. So I'm just going to hold on to it. Um, but you just send the hashtag cards for Ukraine and post it in Handmade Kindness. And then I think eventually they'll be doing a card drive and um, we can send them over. But I do know a couple of people that live here in the United States that are Ukrainian. And um, my son actually has two Ukrainian exchange students at his school right now. And they were supposed to go home in December and haven't been let to go home at all yet. So they're still over here. So that's got to be really crazy and scary for them. So I might actually make another one of these and um, send them to school for those those two kids and at least let them know that somebody's out there thinking about them because, um, man, that's got to be hard. It's got to be hard to be stuck over here not knowing what's going on with your family, and it's got to be hard to be over there um, too. So, yeah, I know. I know exactly. So, um, yeah. I'm sure um, they would appreciate cards and all of that. So if you do want to send cards to the exchange students that are at my son's school, um, just send them on over to me and I will make sure they get over to the school. Um, but other than that, I have to get to work and I will talk to you all later. And um, we will see you very soon. I don't know what the schedule for lives is this week. I know there is one tonight at 10 p.m. Central Time with Sandy. And um, maybe it'll be another blue and yellow card. Who knows? <laughs> but we will see you guys all soon. Toodles!